Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. Today we're going to make something really special. I grew up in Winnipeg in a really ethnic part of town and I can still, if I close my eyes, I can still smell the different flavors of, um, of foods that were being cooked when I go over and visit, uh, visit friends growing up. I'm going to share one of those dishes that brings fond memories uh, uh, to me when I, uh, you know, when I dream of, uh, of earlier days. It's called Sarma. It's a Croatian stuffed cabbage. Um, a little different than cabbage rolls that you, you might have at a Ukrainian restaurant. Uh, there's a few more ingredients than some of the items that I normally cook. This is typically saved for special occasions. It's a great dish to make in the winter time. Uh, it's even better when you heat it up the next day. So it's, it's well worth the work involved. So I'm just going to run you through the ingredients that you're going to need. Uh, you need um, a bit of regular, uh, regular cabbage, head of garlic, a couple of onions, a uh, can of tomato paste. And then you've probably seen these in a grocery store. This is, this is sour cabbage. So it's already been um, um, cured, uh, so to speak. And uh, you'll, you'll find it, they're, they're complete heads and they're already soured and they're ready to go and they're perfect for when you're making this dish. You need some tomato juice, some smoked paprika, a little bit of rice, a couple of eggs, uh, some celery. Uh, for the meat that's gonna go inside, I've got about a pound of ground pork, a pound of ground beef. You'll need a little bit of dried oregano, some fresh parsley, and then to give a little bit more smoky flavor, um, I have some smoked scarabs that I picked up from the butcher and I'm going to add those in there as well. A little bit of oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's about it. So why don't we get started? So the first thing that we're going to need to do is prepare our cabbage leaves. I like to soak my cabbage and get a little bit of the uh, excess salt and vinegar soaked out of the leaves. So the first thing we're going to do is take a paring knife and we are going to cut the core that we're not gonna to need to use out of the cabbage. There we go. Then if we turn the cabbage over, we'll just pull away individual leaves. And if we put them into a bowl, we're gonna fill that bowl with warm water. And we're just gonna soak all the excess salt. As you peel back the leaves of the cabbage, you'll notice that the stem starts to get thicker and thicker. If you take a paring knife, you can just cut a little bit of that extra thickness away. We're not going to need that anymore. And it'll make it just easier as we're bending and rolling up those sarmas. Now, while the cabbage leaves are soaking, we're going to saute up some onions, celery, and garlic. I've uh, chopped up the onions a little bit finer than I normally do. I want to have them really small inside the stuffed cabbage. So we're going to put that in to saute. Get our celery in. Again, celery is also cut really fine. And we'll finish off with the garlic. We're going to cook the onions, garlic, and celery until there's just a little bit of caramelization taking place. I had a few leaves of the sour cabbage left over at the end, so I just diced them up fine. I'm going to put them into a bowl. And I've sliced up a couple of cups of just regular cabbage. We'll add that into the bowl as well. And we'll put a couple of tablespoons of, well actually maybe more like about three tablespoons of tomato paste. This is gonna form a base layer that we're gonna put down in our pot before we put our rolled cabbage on top of it. And I'm just going to mix that around. And I'll just tuck this to the side until we're ready to actually put all of our sarma together. Now let's go ahead and combine the ingredients that we're going to need to make our stuffing. So we'll start with some, about a pound of ground pork, a pound of ground beef, uh, couple of eggs, about three tablespoons of dried oregano, about three tablespoons of smoked paprika, 
a cup of rice, uncooked. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of black pepper, a whole cup of finely chopped parsley, fresh. If you don't have fresh, dried's also going to be okay for you, but if you have fresh, it's going to add a really nice flavor to it. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt. The Pep, or the celery, onions, and garlic have already been cooked down, so I'm going, to, I'm going to add them into the mixture as well. There are a lot of incredible flavors in that bowl right now. We've got to get them all combined together. The easiest way is still to do it with your hands, so I'm going to put on a pair of, pair of gloves to do that. You can try a spoon, but it's, it's, it's hard to combine you know, meat and these kind of ingredients the same way. Okay, so the idea is to get it all mixed in and combined really well. The rice that we put in, uncooked, is gonna act as a binder. That, along with the eggs, is gonna firm everything up as we cook it. And all these flavors are gonna work together and combine beautifully. Okay, it's time to roll up a little bit of sarma. So I've got my cabbage leaves that I've rinsed out. I put them in lukewarm water just to uh, pull some of the salt and some of the vinegar away. All you need to do is take a, a scoop of the meat mixture and you're gonna roll it, put it on a tray, get them all stacked up and ready. These cabbage leaves come in all different sizes. Sometimes you have big heads, sometimes you have smaller heads. You can if the head is too big, just cut it in half and you can roll it a couple of times that way. There is no right or wrong to this. Just put it in the middle part, close it up a little bit with the sides. Roll it around. If the corners are sticking out, just push them in from either side. So I'm just going to keep going and I'm going to first stuff all of the cabbage leaves and then we're going to put it all together in a um, in a casserole that's going to go into the oven. I've got the oven preheating at um, 500 degrees believe it or not um, but we're going to start it at 500 uh, to get everything boiling and cooking and then we're going to reduce the oven temperature down to 350 degrees. Right we have everything now ready to go to put our sarma together and get it inside the oven. Um, I've got probably a couple dozen uh, rolled cabbages made up right now. Uh, it's going to be way more than this container will hold, so I'll probably have a couple of casserole dishes that I'm going to put in the oven. I've got the smoked meat, the ribs that are cut down, and I have the cabbage, mixed cabbage in tomato sauce. So let's start by putting a little bit of that mixture on the bottom. There we go. Okay, so I've just coated the bottom with a bit of that mixture. Now I'm going to take the sarmas and I am going to pack them as tightly as I can and make one first layer. Okay, so once I have my first layer made up, I'm going to take this wonderful smoked meat this is gonna provide a lot of flavor as it cooks. We're gonna be cooking this for um, about three and a half hours. So it's gonna release its flavors inside. So I'm gonna put a few pieces in there. Then I'm gonna put a little bit more of that cabbage and tomato paste mixture. Okay, now we're ready to add another layer of the stuffed cabbages. Well, they fit in actually tighter than I thought. I've got three remaining, so I'm just going to use a small, uh, small metal container and uh, put the other three in there and they'll cook slowly on their own. Now that I have the cabbage leaves all packed as tight as they can be, I'm going to fill it with tomato juice. Now this is all ready to go in the oven by putting a lid on. So as I said before, I, I preheated the oven to 500 degrees. I'm going to stick the casserole dish into the oven. 
probably for maybe about 45 minutes until the mixture inside starts to boil. So you may need to open your oven and check on it a, a couple of times. Once it's started to boil, I'm gonna turn the oven down to 350 degrees. Total cooking time is gonna be about three and a half hours until they are done. Check on them every once in a while. The smells that you're gonna find coming through your house are gonna be incredible. This is an amazingly savory dish. You'll also pick up all the, all the smells of the smoky meat and the flavors will, will whiff through the air. So on a cold day in the winter time, this is going to, um, uh, going to be a wonderful smell permeating through your house. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this in the oven. Uh, I'll finish up the rest of these and then we'll come and take a look after we've had about three and a half hours going inside the oven. Well, three and a half hours has gone by. The smell in here is unbelievable. I'm just boiling up some potatoes to go with the sarma. We'll take the lid off here. They are just steaming away like crazy and happy as can be. Um, I'm gonna let these rest for about 30 minutes while the potatoes uh, cook up. And then I'm gonna serve it up with a, uh, with a potato and show you the final product. Well, thanks for joining me in the kitchen today to make sarma. This is one of my personal favorite dishes, so I'm really gonna enjoy it. Typically, you'd just be serving those, um, um, those stuffed cabbage, um, cabbages with a boiled potato, and that's it. It makes a, a wonderful, complete meal. Uh, I've got a lot of them made in that casserole dish. Uh, they taste even better the next day. They freeze wonderfully. Uh, this, this dish takes a little while to make. It's been four hours in, in, in getting there from when I started. Uh, but it is so worthwhile and if you want to have a different set of flavors and a unique experience we can't travel nowadays so um, you could win a lottery and you, we're still not going anywhere we're stuck at home but food is a way of transporting you to somewhere different so you could make a dish like this and if you close your eyes and you take in all the smells it can feel like you're sitting in a cafe um, on the uh, Adriatic coast of, um, of, of Croatia. Uh, be safe, uh, enjoy yourself. If you, um, if you like, uh, like these dishes and you wanna keep following my recipes, I do have a YouTube channel, uh, In the Kitchen with John. You're welcome to, to go there and I keep all of my videos stored in that spot. Thank you very much and uh, have a wonderful day. Please click subscribe now for my newest cooking videos. A printable recipe and ingredients list can be found on my blog page. You'll find the link in the video description box. Thank you and have a great day.